Hello, people. I am Javi Kawe, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We are in a very confined, tight little space here on this bench, but we're doing it for you guys. So we're looking at Pushpa, the official trailer with Alu Arjun and Rashmika, as well as Fahad Fasil Ooh. and Sukumar. Is Sukumar the director or an actor? It's written and directed by Sukumar. Okay. And this comes out December 17th. This Ooh. Is, this is from Mirthi Movie Makers. Very soon competing with Spider-Man. So if you guys enjoy the trailer that we're about to watch, then make sure to subscribe to Mirthi Movie Makers to get updates from other stuff that they're making or just updates about this film. They may be, yeah. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Also, follow Achar Kirk on Instagram for all the things that she's posting there about the work she is doing out here. Yeah. Are you actually posting? I did actually okay, post cool. today, yeah. I was just taking a shot in the dark there. <laughs> That's what you gotta do as a guy. So, um, all right, let's jump into this, shall we? That's pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> oh, but of course, the love interest. The pretty lady. Huh? It's a tip. <laughs> what is that? What? It's the cardamom, I think. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. 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 Oh, that was a nice shot. Dang, okay. Oh, shit. Pushpa. Pushpa Raj. Oh, oh, that's really cool looking. Hey, that's cool. That's really cool. Pushpan the flower and kunti da. Fire. Oh, so it's a part one. Party le da Pushpa. Oh. This looks dope. I mean, at least- It does look really, really cool. At least in terms of the way it's shot. I'm definitely captivated by the visuals of the movie. It yeah. looks like stunning the way it's directed and whatnot. I don't have a full grasp as to what the story is. It seems like he is a fighter for the people and he's got he's rallied everybody behind him in the village who's like willing to pick up arms and fight against this oppression. I don't know what that oppression is, but like he's he stole something. I would imagine that uh, he doesn't come from well-to-do and so you gotta make your way in the world. And so he stole these things to sell off and they're trying to say, no, you can't do that. And they're trying to like beat him up for it. Like, he's like, I'm not going to give it up. I thought it was because um, he works for someone who is involved in the lumber trade for sandalwood, which is very, very valuable. And these other guys are, are there coming to like take over the territory or something. And he's kind of like, nah, man, you, you can't like my boss is really big, really bad. And so they're just like fighting for what's theirs, I suppose, like kind of like their territory or something like that. But I have no idea what's happening yeah. in this movie. All I know is it looks stunning. It does look stunning. Um, the, there's the love interest at the center of it all. I don't know who's fighting what and for who exactly. I saw, I, I recognize the redwood, sandalwood thing. Yeah. But that was about it. Outside of that, I'm like, I don't know what the conflict is here, but it seems like there's some really cool action going on yeah. and it's shot very well and it's lit beautifully. They did a lot of creative work with how they move the camera and how they frame things and the lighting and whatnot. The DP did a fantastic job here. For me, I was just really taken by the fact that this is a sort of, I guess what you guys would say, like an avatar of Alu Arjun that we haven't really seen before. We've always seen him, at least in our experience, 
as someone who's like really stylish, really suave, really cool. In this, he seems like, you know, he's playing someone of more of a working class. And also- he- You don't see him as someone fighting for the people in this movie at all? I don't know about that aspect. Maybe he is, but what I was gonna say is that I noticed that he has this physical thing that he's doing where he's got like one shoulder higher than the other. It seems like he's not that kind of character that we've normally seen him where he's like the super suave, handsome guy. He's got a sort of like physical, almost like deformity, but he's really badass with it still. He does look like someone of the people though. That's what so I'm I, saying. I can see I can see what you're saying. I don't know if if that's like 100% what's going on here, but I may be wrong. Just borrowing from Italian mafia stories and whatnot. It's like, you know, you just take what you want kind of thing. You take what you want to survive. That's yeah. part, that's just part of the that's part of survival. It's like, okay, so you didn't come from wealth, you didn't come from education. Well, you got to do what you got to do to like make your way in the world. Yeah, and and then there's a sense of like almost family in the sense of, you know, like how you talk about Italian mafia families, you all stick together and like right. you you don't take sides yeah, that, against that's, the family. Yeah, that's what I gathered like from that, yeah. that shot where like the guy put the gun to his head and then everyone, everyone kind of getting yeah, up. Yeah, it's yeah. like, no, you're not going to mess with our dude. Yeah. And I I actually really like that shot. I thought that was so cool. Like how everyone came up with like, look, you can kill him, but you got to kill all of us then. The way they came up was so cool too, because just looking at it, it looked like it was really well directed and choreographed because it did look like a really great tableau. Like everyone was in the exact yeah, a certain pattern to right it. place. Yeah, yeah. And like different levels and different looks and angles and stuff. I was yeah. like, yeah, it looks like a moving picture. Well, it it's was gorgeous. particularly, it was staged in a very particular way because it wasn't just like, okay, everyone come at once. Yeah. It was like, everyone has to hit a certain beat, a certain exactly. timing in order to fill the frame in a very specific manner. I do like how that was done. Yeah. It was executed beautifully. There was two shots in here that reminded me of other stuff. One Indian and one uh, American. The Indian one was with the, the hood over his head. It reminded me of that fight scene we watched. Was it I? It was that actor who had a bag over his head during the fight scene and he had his hands tied up for a lot of the fight. Vikram, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of is Vikram. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Vikram, yeah. In any case, it was starring Vikram. I don't know if it was from I, but it was starring Vikram. And it, there's a whole fight scene where he's got a bag over his head. He's taking hits like left and right. Oh but yeah. Then, but then he like comes on, he comes out on top somehow and beats up whoever is like trying to kick his ass, right? There was a shot where um, someone's running through a forest with a bag over his head. And mm-hmm. it seemed like an action sequence. I don't know if that builds up to something where the person's fighting with the bag over his head, but he ran into a tree and it stopped. There was that. And then there was another shot of a woman on top of a dude. And I think she had a blade in her mouth. Yeah. Like she was threatening to kill him. Yes. And that very much reminds me of Goodfellas where Ray Liotta's wife in the movie has a gun. She's straddling his stomach and has a gun to his face. Right. Basically threatening him because he's been cheating on her. Yeah. I mean, that shot looks really visceral just because it's quite arresting in in the the sense of power and just how weird it is you know Mm -hmm. to see her there with that razor blade in her mouth you know that's the only other instance where i've seen something like that is in goodfellas right where you know a spouse a significant other of some kind is threatening her husband with a weapon that could end his life Mm -hmm. um and goodfellas was a gun here it was a blade who knows maybe that's something that happens a lot in indian films but i don't think so well i haven't seen seen it anyway but like those are the only two things that i could see that maybe were inspirations. There's probably, this is probably littered with inspirations from other films that I'm just not familiar with, but those are the two that stuck out to me. I think it's such an interesting idea for a story as well, because I never would have really thought about a movie about lumber, you Mm -hmm. know, being exciting, but... I'm not listening, I'm just stopping the recording. But, you know, they've done a really great job at taking that story, that concept, or that, I guess, that premise, mm-hmm. and making it really, really thrilling. You watch a truck. There's a lot. Just randomly fly over. It's so high up in the air, and, there's you know, a, there's all that action and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff that's actually like that in the world that is just not sexy. Yeah. Like lime. Lime became, <laughs> it ran into a shortage because like the mafia, like the, the um, I think the Colombian mafia or something was stealing lime. Like and it, it, and limestone or lime, lime fruit? fruit, the fruit, lime. Okay. And that became a whole thing. It's like, you'd be surprised what becomes a thing in the world. Like very unsexy things yeah. become like the, the center of like gore, uh, gore, uh, gang violence and whatnot. Uh-huh. It's crazy. Like why would lime become, like you'd never think in a million years. And so likewise here, sandalwood is is the center of the, of the crime and the fighting and the 
conflict here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, dang, like you'd never think that in a million years. No, but I yeah, wouldn't. like anything that's a commodity, anything that has value can become a source of conflict. Mm -hmm. I think it's super exciting that Fahad Fasil is in this movie as well. Like I'm assuming that this is a Telugu film, right? Cause it's Alu Arjun. I really enjoy watching Fahad Fasil every time I've seen him act. And so I think it is really cool that he's crossing over into a different region, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I'm excited to see what he does in this film. So anyway, um, like I said, this is visually stunning. It's got me like wanting to watch it real bad just because of how captivating it is from that standpoint. Like I just like how they're moving the camera and I like how they're staging with the camera. All the blocking that they're doing is very strategic and you don't see that a lot in American cinema anymore. That takes us back to like old school American cinema where you used to have it where the actors were moving f to and from the camera in order to create new frames as opposed to cutting all the time. It's very almost like theater, you know, where everything exactly. is very, very blocked and you go to your marks and you stand and you act and you move and, and you do all the things and it's very important that you hit your marks. Yeah. A very famous example of that is in Jaws. If you guys have ever, ever seen the movie, there's a, a scene on a ferry that's moving from one side of the river to the other and it moves from like a four shot to a three shot to a two shot and it's just based on the actors moving towards the camera and one and you know one or two actors falling away mm -hmm. and focusing on like the two central characters or something like that in the scene. It's oh, really wow. neat. And so you don't see that very often these days and, and it's like it, it's, it takes a lot of strategy and planning and rehearsal and oftentimes with movies these days they're just trying to move real fast to get to the next shot mm -hmm. you just got to wrap this up as fast as possible you know like the way Nolan shoots I love Christopher Nolan but he shoots a lot of inserts because it allows him to just move faster right you know there's not a lot of staging in terms of actors in, in Christopher Nolan movies and don't get me wrong he's a genius but like I'd like to see that kind of stuff in films nowadays because it's not that often you get it uh, I just watched West Side Story and you got a little bit of that because it's Spielberg mm -hmm. so again Jaws anyway um, I really enjoyed this you guys hopefully you did too so let us know your feelings in the comments below do subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell icon all notifications and vote this up to let you know you're enjoying what you're watching I'm Jabby Kawai this is Achara Cook peace out I don't know why I put this mic like over here instead of here I'm such a dumb dumb sometimes. All right. Okay.